everyone, this is Paul Gale from paulgalenetwork.com and thank you for joining me today for Video Game Sales. It is May 19th, 2022 and in today's video we're going to check out the Japanese hardware and software charts from the previous week of May 9th through May 15th. Let's hop to it. We've got something really exciting to go over. This is all courtesy of Famitsu.com. Let's hop into it. With the hardware, the number one best-selling system of the week was the Nintendo Switch which moved 65,322 units. In second place is the Xbox Series, which did 6,225 units. Yes, you heard that correct. You're used to by now, if you've been watching for a while, that the order typically goes Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, Nintendo 3DS, PlayStation 4. But this is something new and unprecedented it's the first time this generation that xbox passed playstation in japan more on that in a little bit but yeah that's your second place console of the week in third this time around playstation 5 which sold 2693 units in fourth the nintendo 3ds which moved 235 units and in fifth place playstation 4 selling 22 units okay so let's rewind a little bit okay this is exciting because I have been following video game sales for a very long time, whether it's the Japanese hardware and software reports from Famitsu or Media Crate or the United States charts from NPD or other places in the world reporting. I just love video game sales, as you could tell, probably, if you've been watching for a while. And if you're new to the channel, well, now you know. Um, and this is just something that doesn't happen too often. This generation this ninth gen, if you will. Nintendo Switch has almost always been number one in Japan. PlayStation 5, by nature, is almost always second. And Xbox Series S and X combined has always been third. But you can see here that the Xbox Series brand of platforms has outsold PlayStation 5's combined total of PlayStation 5 disc and digital versions by nearly 4,000. Why? Well, the previous week, which represented last time we looked at these charts, two weeks worth of data, was that golden week sales period where both weeks had a higher amount of shipments, so more stock ended up selling, and we had Nintendo Switch at number one with some big numbers. Now we see the last week in particular was 88,296. PlayStation 5 last week in particular was 24,899. Both of these are higher than their previous weeks. Last week for Xbox Series S and X was 7,059. Still a good amount below what Nintendo and Sony had, but a strong week for Microsoft nonetheless. Well, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo continue to pump out enough stock because they know that the demand is still there in Japan for Nintendo Switch, and that's why it came out to be number one. But Sony basically was like, okay, here for these two weeks, in particular last week of Golden Sun Week itself, Golden Week itself, I, sh I should say. I said Golden Sun, didn't I? For Golden Week, um, 24,000, a lot more than, you know, most weeks. So all they had left was 2,693. Meanwhile, Xbox kind of being on a roll for a few weeks in a row following Golden Week. You know what? Let's let's give a, a decent amount with 6,000. And there you go. That's all it took. If you've been following me for a while, I said, I think it's inevitable that Xbox Series will eventually pass PlayStation 5. It almost happened a few times in 2021 where there were just several hundred apart. And if just Microsoft pumped out another thousand, they would have won on a very low selling PlayStation 5 week. But Sony always managed to just have a little bit more, you know? And this is kind of crazy because this has never happened before where like PlayStation 2 and Xbox, the original, were that neck and neck every week, you know? Even in the PlayStation 3, Wii, Xbox 360 era, only a dozen times or so did Xbox 360 over that entire generation outsell PS3. Uh, for Xbox One, it only outsold PlayStation 4 once, and that was the week that Xbox One launched. So, though this isn't the first time 
ever in history that Xbox has managed to outsell PlayStation in Japan. It is one of the first times in a long time. Well, it is technically the first time in a long time. In 13 years, I believe, since 2009, when Xbox 360 last outsold PlayStation 3 in a non-launch week. If you go on by launches, okay, you're looking at eight or nine years from Xbox One surpassing PlayStation 4 for that week. But not counting a launch day, just looking at pure weeks, it's only happened a dozen times in history. So it is the first time for these systems. It is the first time for this generation of platforms. And that's just kind of cool. As a video game historian, as someone who loves video game sales, it's just an interesting thing to see, you know. Uh, it's kind of like last year when, for the first time in 32 years, Nintendo cleared out the top 30, you know. No publisher has had a top 30 in Famitsu's charts where every single game that came out that was the top 30 best-selling of the week was exclusively on one platform, you know. And that doesn't necessarily mean exclusive games, but only Nintendo Switch software showed up in the top 30. Not a single PlayStation 4 or 5 game, not a 3DS game even. So not just one brand, but one brand's single console. And that's just a cool stat, you know? And that ended up happening sev several times over uh, last year. So this is just that one, nor one more new thing. Pretty cool stuff. I don't know if it's going to happen too many times more but I definitely thought it was going to happen in 2022 and I thought that golden week might be the week that it happened because I had a feeling that Sony was gonna have a lot of stock and then drop down and here here it is so very cool uh, hopefully in general all three are successful the Xbox series is already doing far better than Xbox one it has outsold it life to date I think it has a chance at beating the original Xbox. Can it beat Xbox 360, which was actually Microsoft's best-selling machine in Japan? Uh, we'll see, because that one, you know, was clearly over a million, 1.6 million or so. So if Xbox Series could do 2 million, that would be a huge hit for them, because it would be by far their best-selling platform there. And 2 million is actually, you know respectable considering what the brand has done in the past and even what PlayStation has been doing in recent generations, you know. Uh, look at the PS4. Nine millions, not a lot. So if PS5 is somewhere in that seven and a half to eight million and if Xbox Series manages to do two, you're only looking at, you know, one outselling the other four to one. That still is a lot, but it's a lot closer of a gap than it was in the past, right? But Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, moving on, if we look at the breakdown, because sometimes I like to do this and give a breakdown of the consoles themselves. The PlayStation 5 physical edition was definitely the more popular of the two. It outsold the digital edition considerably, so 2,240 to 453. The Xbox Series S is the one that outsold the Xbox Series X, 6,120 to just 105. That's staggering right there. On the Nintendo Switch side of things, it was the OLED model that did 35,868 units with the base doing 20,443 units and the Nintendo Switch Lite sold 9,011 units. It's also neat to see because now the Xbox Series is definitely over the Xbox Series X, I should say S over X, Lifetime to date in Japan, 105,000 versus 99,000. So that's pretty interesting. On the PS5 side of things, it's their physical edition at 1.385 million to the digital's 235,000. So uh, it looks like Japan is favoring disc over digital. And on the Xbox side of things, digital over disc by a hair. But is that because that's really what they want or that's because... Microsoft just happened to ship out that much more. On the flip side of things, you could also say that, well, it looks like Sony clearly shipped more PS5 physical than digital. If they were both equal on S and X, both equal on digital and disc for PS5, 
then, you know, which would sell more? Uh, that's unknown, right? Likewise, I guess you could make a point on the Nintendo Switch side of things. If Nintendo was just shipping out equal amounts, 50,000 OLEDs, 50,000 base switches, 50,000 lights every week, just how much of those totals would sell? Uh, probably they wouldn't sell out completely, though, because at this point, you know, Nintendo Switch is hanging in this, to like that 60,000 range. It's not busting out these 100,000 weeks, week after week anymore. I do expect it to go up when Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak drops and probably Mario Strikers a little bit of a jump. And we'll see a few other times this year, maybe. Because Nintendo Switch has a lot of great software where I think it's still going to have some considerable bumps for those weeks and some little tail ends lasting each time, like a Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, probably a little bump and a kind of a quick decline, but maybe not too quick. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, massive bump, also in the holiday time, so doubly expected, and maybe a little bit more of a longer tail. We'll see. Bayonetta 3, same thing. So there's definitely some software out there. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 or Xenoblade Chronicles 3, another one. Probably a bump for the week. We'll see about that tail. But anyhow, a pretty exciting week for hardware, I gotta say. This was the talk of the town for me in today's video. I'm kind of blown away, you know? I thought it was going to happen. I thought it was going to happen, but I'm still surprised. You know, it's still uh, interesting because it's just so rare, right? Like I said, 2009 or so was the last time that in a non-launch week, an Xbox system beat out a PlayStation system in Japan, and that was Xbox 360 versus PlayStation 3. So that's 13 years ago. Pretty cool. Okay, moving on, because we still have software to look at. The best-selling game of the week, and this is a top 10, if I'm not mistaken, of Nintendo Switch uh, games. This is a top 10 that encompasses everything, but as you can see, only Nintendo Switch games made it, but I'll still read it. Best-selling game of the week was Nintendo Switch Sports, which did 47,525 copies. In second, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, moving 14,903 copies. In third, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, 11,127 right there. In fourth, the Nintendo Switch version of eBaseball, powerful pro baseball 2022. And that did 10,350, 3,000, sorry, let me do that one again. It did 10,372 copies. I apologize, got tongue twisted or something. In fifth place, Ring Fit Adventure, which moved 6,839 copies for the week. In sixth, the Nintendo Switch version of Minecraft, which did 6,553 copies for the week. In seventh, the newly released The Centennial Case, a, a Shijima story, and that's at 6,409 copies. In 8th, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which moved 5,849 copies. In ninth, Mario Party Superstars, moving 4,360 copies. And in 10th place, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which did 4,245 copies. So, you know, time will tell if this is another top 30 week. Um, we did previously have eBaseball, Powerful Pro Baseball 2022, that's a mouthful right there, on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. The PS4 version dropped. Could it still be somewhere in the top 30? Maybe. So it's not a guarantee that the top 30 is going to be all Nintendo, but it's possible. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to do it. Pretty cool software side of things, you know, some nice sales. Kind of a big drop between... Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports at number one and Kirby and the Forgotten Land at number two. You know, you're looking at 33,000 difference in between. So, uh, yeah, nothing nothing massive. Today's talk, like I said, today's hype for me and a lot of people online is that hardware side of things. But that's going to do it today for video game news. Sorry, for video game sales with Paul Gale Network. Thank you to Chris1964 from the installbaseforum.com forums for nicely putting together the hardware and software charts that Famitsu pumped out. And as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I look forward to talking with you in the comment section below. Hope you all have a good rest of your day. Take it easy. Bye.